Do you want to get rid of those little pockets of fat down there so you can finally have that tight, narrow waist with the chiseled six pack and V cut lines? Then you came to the right place. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that pretty damn fast. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. If you like what you see here, I'd really appreciate it if you pull out your phone and follow me on Instagram at Brett MVRK. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there. You won't find anywhere else. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So if you came here looking for the one magic trick, the secret exercise to instantly get rid of your love handles, you might be disappointed because the fact is there's no such thing as spot reduction. You can't lose fat in one specific area. You can't lose fat right here, but not here. It's collective, it's all or nothing. But what I am gonna show you today is three exercises that will manipulate certain muscles to make your love handles appear smaller and insignificant and almost non-existent. But at the same time, the most important thing is to get your diet in check and actually lose that fat because that is more important after all for your health and your longevity and also your aesthetic look. There's two ways of doing that. You can either take in less calories than your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. This is the number of calories you need to maintain your current weight. So you can either take in less calories by, you know, eating less or eating foods that have less calories in them, or you can burn calories to get in a calorie deficit. Do this by doing cardio, getting out moving, lifting weights, this, that, and the other. This can also put you in a calorie deficit, but the best way is to do both. You should have your nutrition in check anyways, but also get out there and be active. If you want to know your BMR, I'll link a calculator down below. You just enter your height, your weight, your age, and it'll pop right up for you. But without further ado, let's get into exercise number one. Number one is low bar squats. I'm sorry, I don't have an actual barbell. I'm using an easy bar because of the pandemic. Everything's limited here. But how you do it is you stand in a slightly wider than shoulder width stance and you place the bar at the bottom of your scapula in the top third portion of your back. Then it's pretty simple. You just squat down, keeping your back straight, keeping your ass right above your heels and not leaning forward, all of the weight should be in your heels so you can activate that posterior chain. The main concept of this exercise is we want to engage that gluteus medius, the top portion of your glutes, your butt, because that's actually a very large muscle. And when we're hitting that with a lot of weight, a lot of work, we're breaking apart those fibers making them grow back bigger and stronger. And when you can develop that gluteus medius, which is actually a pretty big muscle, it'll make your love handles appear smaller in juxtaposition because they're right next to each other. That's why you see those people with those lower back dimples. It's because they have a developed gluteus medius. So I recommend doing four sets of pretty heavy weight because this is a pretty big muscle. So 15, 12, 10, eight repetitions. And do this once a week and you'll definitely start seeing development in that gluteus medius. All right, next exercise. This is gonna hit a completely different muscle, but it's gonna work just as well in making your love handles disappear. This is low rows. I don't care if you use dumbbells, cables, a pulley, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you're pulling into your lower lats. How you do it is you grab whatever you're using. In this case, I'm using dumbbells. Bend your knees a bit, have your feet about shoulder width apart, keep your back straight, and have your back at about 160 degree angle, and simply pull the weight towards your waist just above your hip bones. And this will target those lower lats. What we're doing with this exercise is we're angling it so that you're directly targeting those lower lats. And when you can widen those lower lats, it's gonna make those love handles appear smaller because the muscle just above it is wider. You see what I'm saying? Science. <laughs> so pull that weight up nice and slow, squeeze it at the top, and then simply go back down. And this is another muscle that isn't very stubborn, so we can actually hit it with quite a bit of intensity and higher weight. So I recommend four sets, 15, 12, 10, and eight repetitions. This is definitely gonna make us reach hypertrophy, making that muscle grow bigger and stronger. The third and final exercise that we're gonna be doing is hip dips for the obliques. Contrary to what you might have heard, it's not gonna make your waist look thicker. It's not gonna build up a big blocky waist. No, 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 it's actually gonna make your waist appear smaller because what those obliques are, what this muscle right here is, is 
that V line. So when you can develop those muscles, it's only gonna bring things in tighter and make those muscle tie-ins tighter and more aesthetic. So how you do this is pretty simple. You just get in a plank position with your elbows on the ground and your butt up in the air, keeping your back straight all the way to your heels. And then you simply rotate left to right all the way down to the floor in a semi-circle motion, squeezing your obliques, keeping your abs tight the whole time. Not only is it gonna build up those obliques, you know, that muscle right here by your hip bone, I don't think you can see it, but it's also gonna engage those serrats and your lower abs and that's only gonna look even better and take people's vision away from your love handles and act as sort of a distraction that they're gonna look at the actual abdominals that you've built. And this isn't a weighted exercise, so you actually wanna hit it with a lot of reps, so I recommend at least three or four sets of 20 repetitions to each side, and you'll definitely feel the burn after that. Do this a couple times a week, and you'll definitely start seeing a difference. So as you might have noticed, what we're doing with all of these exercises is building the muscles around the love handles to make them appear smaller. So start doing these exercises as well as get your diet nutrition in check. Start taking in less calories or burning more calories than your basal metabolic rate in conjunction with doing these exercises, getting bigger and stronger, and you'll definitely get rid of those love handles in no time. I'm thinking less than like a couple months if you're consistent and you put in the work. So that's gonna do it guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you wanna see in the future. Subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, peace.